install Kaspersky Security Center. In this video, we will study a standard installation of the Kaspersky Security Center. You are an antivirus security administrator at ABC Incorporated. The decision was made to protect the network with Kaspersky Endpoint Security. First, you need to install Kaspersky Security Center. A computer running Windows Server 2016 was chosen for the installation of the Administration Server and Microsoft SQL Server 2014 Express, which is necessary for storing Administration Server data. Installation files for Kaspersky Security Center 11 can be downloaded from Kaspersky Lab website or from the product page on the Technical Support website. When the full distribution version is run, the installation shell starts. The installation shell allows selecting the components to install, for example, the administration server or the administration console. You can also extract installation files of all the components into the specified folder. Start the Kaspersky Security Center installer. Before installing the software, the installation wizard checks the system requirements. If network agent or administration console is already installed on the computer without the administration server, the installation wizard will not proceed. To be able to install the administration server, you will have to uninstall the network agent and console beforehand. If the server is installed already, the installation will switch to the upgrade mode. In the initial installation mode, you can select installation parameters, including the components to be installed. Click the link Install Kaspersky Security Center 11. In addition to the requirements for the operating system, Microsoft.NET Framework version 4 or higher must also be installed on the computer. Verify that the required version of Microsoft.NET Framework is installed. If all system requirements are met, and Kaspersky Security Center components are not found, the wizard proceeds with the installation. To be able to install the software, we must accept the license agreement and the privacy policy. Select the standard installation type. In the standard installation mode, the installer prompts almost for nothing. Administration server, console, new web console and the server's version of network agent will be installed. Custom installation allows you to modify the set of installed components, select an alternative database server, which must be pre-installed in the network, and specify various parameters for the administration system. The Kaspersky Administration Console, Network Agent and New Web Console are always installed together with the administration server. In addition to MMC Console, New Web Console has been released. By default, the Web Console is installed automatically but we will demonstrate the installation of the web console using a separate installation package. The administration console can also be installed on the administrator's workstation for managing the server remotely. The network size is to be selected during either standard or custom installation. Depending on the specified size, some of the administration server functions, which are required within large networks only, will be enabled or disabled. For example, the capability to create a hierarchy of servers and manage access control. If the minimal network size is selected, the interface will look simpler because some of the advanced capabilities will be hidden. All these parameters can be modified later in the administration server properties. Keep the option fewer than 100 network devices selected. Microsoft SQL or MySQL server can be used for the administration server database. The administration server capabilities do not depend on the SQL server type. It influences only the access settings and performance. Starting with Kaspersky Security Center version 10 Service Pack 3, administrators are to download and install Microsoft SQL Server Express manually. SQL Server can be installed either on the same computer as the administration server or on any other network computer. Microsoft Windows Authentication Mode is typically used for connecting to Microsoft SQL Server, because SQL Authentication is disabled on most servers by default. If the SQL Server and the Administration Server are installed on a single machine, local administrator rights, which are assigned to the Administration Server account automatically, are sufficient for managing the database. Before file copying starts, the administrator can go back, review the installation parameters, and modify them if necessary. When the administrator clicks the install button, file copying starts and everything is configured according to the specified settings. 
Finally, the selected plugins are installed. Some plugins require accepting additional license agreement conditions. After the administration server is installed, the installation wizard will offer to start the administration console. We will demonstrate the initial configuration of the administration server in the next video.